Hi, good day guys. My name is Alex with a how-to video and in this video guys, we're going to be looking at how you can set up your 2023 LG TV. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. So the first page we get to land on, guys, is going to be the language selection. There's quite a variety to choose from, so I'm sure you'll be accommodated. I'm going to select English and then I'll click Next. Then you got different regions and just like myself in Africa, you'll get four different regions and with each region you got a country listed within there. I am based within South Africa, so I'll stay on Southern Africa and I'll click next. Then you got time zone. Now based on the city within the country you're staying in, you can choose Johannesburg or whatever the case may be and click next. Now Right over here, guys, if you want an easy setup without complicating the process, choose TV so that you can set everything through the TV without having to utilize the mobile device. And I'll click next right over here. Now you're greeted with the internet connection setup page. I will advise to not skip this as you'll need to agree to terms and conditions in order to use the full smart experience of an LG TV. So I'm going to set up my internet connection and then I'll see you guys after. So you can see that once you immediately connect to the network that the terms and conditions page will load up. If the terms and conditions page does not load up the first time and asks you to retry, you can do that and then it will pop up on the second time I promise you that now we're gonna click on next we're gonna agree to all and then what it's doing right now is looking for anything that's paired to the TV via the HDMI port I have nothing plugged in so it will say no paired devices that is fine you can click next if you're someone that has an HDMI plugged in it will then go through a different process but essentially just click next. Right over here, it will ask you which way you want to watch the TV and that it's either through a set-top box only, TV only, or both TV and set-top box. Now, I'm someone that doesn't own a set-top box, so I'm going to select TV only and go through the next tab. Over here, this will give you the sound output that is optimal for either stand installation or wall mount. So my TV is on a stand, so I'll select stand as that is what my TV is literally on. If your TV is wall mounted, then select wall mount. Now I'm going with stand. So the AI functions right over here, guys, you want to enable, and I'll tell you why. Listen to the audio without AI Sound Pro. I'm gonna increase the audio right over here. And then I'm going to decrease the audio and activate AI Sound Pro. I'm sure you guys are hearing that difference right over there. So I'm going to activate both AI Picture and AI Sound Pro so that I can get an enhanced picture and as well as an uplift in my sound delivery. So let's click Next. Then over here, guys, you got software automatic updates. I will enable this if you guys have stable Wi-Fi connection at home and so forth in order to keep up with the latest software. So I'll click next. And then it will take you through to the TV sort of program tuning. If you have an antenna, cable, or satellite plugged in and you want to sort of digitally search for broadcasted uh, channels that is available within your country, you can do this. However, I don't have either antenna, cable, or satellite plugged into the TV I am using, so I will exit. Now it will ask you, on whether or not you want to sign in to your LG account. Guys, in order to download applications and update applications, you need to have an LG account. So I'm going to sign in on TV and it will take me through to the signing page. If you don't have an LG account, it is as simple as creating one with your already existing Gmail account, for example. So you just go over to create LG account, or if you're like me, you'll click LG account sign in. I'll enter my email and password, and I'll see you guys at the end of this. 
so i have successfully signed in with my account and you can give your tv or the user profile a nickname i will keep it standard lg user and there we go once you see the screen you know that you've successfully set up your brand new 2023 lg tv and that is that but guys i'll give you a little bit of tips there and there on how to use the tv if you want you can install these applications i'm just going to click done now the tips i'll give you guys is that essentially if you want to install additional applications that is not installed on the tv what you do is you go over to apps the apps content page is where you are able to download additional applications if you're someone in south africa interested in downloading dstv and showmax this is exactly where you do that right you go over here you search dstv the nice thing about LG TVs is this magic remote, You're right? You got this magic cursor and there we go. We click search. There's DSTV and then you can click install. Now in 2023, you got a total storage of five gigabytes, which is absolutely massive. The amount of applications you can download is endless right over there guys and this is, is essentially the new home dashboard of your 2023 tv it is only two pages and you're probably wondering what happened to the rest while well, everything sort of got put into these quick cards right over here guys these quick cards are folders that consist of your favorite applications in which you use on a day-to-day -day basis so if you're someone that wants to set up your sports alerts on your favorite teams you go over to sports right over here you click that and then it will take you to the sports alerts page if you remember how it was in 2022 or previously you had a whole single page dedicated to this but now it is a quick card so Here's the leagues and so forth in which you can set up. And you can see that this is the rugby championship that we're following Liverpool and Man United. And in your home dashboard, you'll see that the sports quick card will give you fixtures based on that. But guys, that is how you set up your 2023 LG TV. I hope you guys understand it. It's very simple and we'll upload more tips and tricks on how to get the best out of your 2023 TV. But yeah, guys... Have a fantastic one and I'll see you guys in the next how-to video.